www.bluewine.com or 818-865-0605. Live across America, Mike Horn and Paul Stern and What's Cooking on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Hey, welcome to the big What's Cooking program hour two, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment program. I'm Michael Horn. Hello, Paul Stern. Well, hello, Michael Horn. I'm glad to be back here in studio, of course, as we broadcast just yesterday, 24 hours uh, past uh, from the... uh, Malibu, uh, what Malibu family wines? Yeah, great place out there in Malibu, California. Great wines. It was a, a rainy day, but uh, great scenery. The clouds coming down, going up. A new wave of rain coming in. A little bit of sun creeping out. Hillsides in the background. There's avocado trees on the property. Thirty-five acres, sixty acres of grapes, and then uh, the lovely Tammy Semler taking us after the broadcast on a tour of the property. It's expansive. It has. Uh, uh, animals on the property, a lot of horses, uh, Indian caves from the uh, Chumash Indians history there. Uh, this is the place to visit if you're coming to Southern California. And we talk about wine tasting in Northern California and in Santa Barbara and Paso Robles. And in Southern California, of course, there's the Temecula wine region. But this is one that cannot be forgotten. It's close by. It's by the coast. You go down to the ocean. You get a couple of tasting rooms there. You go up into the hills. Beautiful place. Your first experience on doing that uh, and my second. Correct, Paul? Uh, that it was, Mike. And uh, I must say, this is a broadcast that uh, was literally five years in the making. Making. I mean, I can't. I can't imagine uh, what uh, kind of must have ran run through your head, Mike, as well as mine, when we actually were able to see this uh, Malibu family wines, a similar estate, uh, for the first time. It really put to put to kind of put to bed any uh, maybe uh, negative uh, preconceived ideas that we might have had about uh, again a a kind of a new wine growing region a new AVA because uh, I had heard some reports about some other wineries that attract some uh, rather boisterous people and uh, where they say well, they, what have you heard about well I, I well I'll be perfectly honest there's a a winery in that is in the Topanga Canyon not too far from Malibu where uh, they uh, were, according to some of the people's reviews that I've read online, they basically say, oh, they substitute wine glasses for fraternity cups. Plastic fraternity cups. Meaning that, again, it's just, uh, I hate to say that it could be rather, again, boisterous to say the least. And the name of the winery? Milan. I never heard of the place. The na- it's Milan. It, it's an actual winery, or is it just a tasting it's room? It's a tasting room. Yeah, okay, there you go. Where parking well, it's is like a bar. Is where what you're par- yeah, where parking is difficult. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, this is great, though. I'm going to tell you. you this have was, to, this, I've heard nothing but great things on tasting fabulous. in this area, and uh, just a wonderful place, and I would recommend it highly to everybody. Uh, there's always some good with the bad, you know. you got to pick and choose. Now, what's going on here on the big broadcast today, Paul Well, we're going to pick a choose today as we talk about River Dance on Ice. Uh, This is an upcoming uh, event uh, program on NBC. I was going to say, that's an NBC show that's coming up? That is right. That's that River Dance, those dancer kind of people? Yeah. They kick the feet and everything like that, and they're going to do this on ice? Yeah, that's kind of That's amazing. Yeah, it's like Radio City Music Hall meets... uh, This is the, uh, the Irish kind of River Dance thing, right? Yeah. That's exactly what it is, Celtic stuff. Who's going to be with us? Uh, we're going to talk with Tanith Belbin and Ben Augusto. And they are uh, river dancers. River dancers on ice. All right, so this is uh, going to be a good show. What else? Well, well, look it into the consumer file. I hate to say that I might have gotten taken in by some slick uh, internet advertising, but I came across a company called Far Away Foods. Far Away Foods in which they specialize in foods that are not necessarily available in your own neck of the woods. And I picked up, uh, and Mike, I got a present for you. Well, you got something for me, really, seriously? I I, I seriously do. I found the original Ovaltine. Really? At least as they claim it to be. This is the European formula in which I bought these literally about $50 worth to take advantage of the... uh, bulk sale you bought 50 dollars bottles of ovaltine i'm touched thank you so much it'd be delicious good ingredients crn listeners when you come to southern california stop by a great restaurant